All right, so hi everyone. Um, welcome to my landing pages and QR code class. Thank you all for attending. And if you're watching on YouTube, I thank you for tuning in as well. Uh, today, what we're going to be focusing on is landing pages and QR codes, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it is really easy to create landing pages within the command dashboard. You can create a QR code with a click of a button when you're using the Google Chrome browser. And then I'll show you how to use that QR code in the designs area to create a flyer. Now, when we're talking about a landing page, you can use landing pages for a number of different things. Um, and you'll see when we're on our command dashboard and we come into the consumer area, we have two different types of pages. So I just wanted to let you know the difference between the two before we dive in. An agent site page is a page that is designed to live on your website. This is content that is going to be what we call evergreen. It's always going to be relevant. It's never going to go out of style or become unnecessary. Um, any landing page, excuse me, any agent page that you create can be linked onto your agent site. Here is mine. Um, and so all of the pages that I have here are things like a mortgage calculator, finding your home value, meet the team, about me, etc. So those are examples of pages that um, are always going to be relevant that you always want to have on your website. Now, this is different from a landing page. A landing page is going to have a different URL. It will still have your name as part of that URL, but it's not going to link back to your agent website. Of course, this is still going to be shareable and we encourage you to share these landing pages, but these are going to be geared more towards those time sensitive pieces of information, such as a listing that you have, an open house, an event that you're hosting, anything along those lines. So when you create a landing page, you want to think of something that you want to create, but don't want it to be viewable forever from your website. So hopefully that makes sense to everyone. The difference between an agent site page and a landing page. So again, we are going to focus on the landing pages today. And the example that I'm going to do is um, creating a landing page for an open house registration and then creating a marketing flyer with a QR code so that those attending your open house can simply scan that code, fill in their information exact, uh, directly from their phones, and then um, you'll have all of their information captured when they enter your open house and it will automatically be added into your command dashboard. So we're incorporating a lot of different facets in one um, I think this is a really great class. And again, I thank you all for tuning in. As we go on, please feel free to pop any questions that you have in the chat box, um, or if you have something really uh, relevant to something that I'm talking about, feel free to speak up. It is a okay. Um, just to let everyone know, I tend to talk pretty fast and I talk without taking a break. So you won't, you, please don't feel bad about interrupting me. It is a okay. I understand. The first thing that we're going to do is create our landing page. Now, again, when we're on our KW command website and we're under the consumer applet, we can come to this create a new page button in our upper left, excuse me, upper right corner. My coffee hasn't kicked in yet. And when we click on create a page, we have a choice if we can select um, from the my agent site or as a landing page. So we want to do landing page and then we'll click create. Now, before you do anything, it's really important to rename your template. That's going to be in this upper left hand corner. You see the page name is just titled new landing page template and I'm going to rename this with some specific information. Now I found a listing from an agent in our office that I'm going to be using as our example. So I'm going to take the address for this landing page and make that as part of my page title. And I'm going to call this my open house sign in sheet. Um, then it's really easy to start building your pages. On both the agent site pages and the landing pages, you have a number of different widgets to use. They will vary between the type of page that you're doing. So if you happen to see a, uh, you know, um, some widget in the landing page and you don't see it within the uh, agent page option, it's okay. They're supposed to be different. Now, what I'm doing is just, you know, my example and my, uh, you know, suggestion for how you can build your page, but please feel free to do whatever you want. It is completely up to you. I'm going to show you the three widgets that I like to use when creating a, a landing page for an open house sign up. The first is going to be this branded header. Now, I like to use this branded header all the time whenever I'm creating a landing page. Why? It's really simple. It doesn't take up too much real estate on the top of our page, and it's branded with all of our information. So this way, when someone goes to this page, 
right off the bat, they're going to see who the agent is and they're gonna see that KW logo. We can configure uh, to put a header here and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is add in a lead form. So I'm gonna take that lead form widget and drag it over. We can customize this interested let's talk widget here. Um, and again, I'll show you that in just a second. And the final widget that I'm gonna be using is a listing widget. So I'm simply gonna drag that and drop it here. So now we have a beautiful uh, widget here that incorporates everything about an MLS um, listing features. And I'll show you how to customize all of this right now. So we've put our three widgets in place. This Again, this is just my example. If you wanna have your uh, lead form at the bottom, you can feel free to do that. My reasoning for putting it above the listing is because if someone's signing into your open house, they already know what the property is and you don't want them to bypass this lead form. If you are creating a landing page simply to promote a specific property, you can absolutely put the landing, uh, or excuse me, the listing widget on top of the lead form widget. It is up to you. But now what we're going to do is customize all of these widgets here and make them look exactly how we want. In order to do that, we're going to go to this configure widgets button on the bottom right of our screen. Now it's automatically taken me to the listing widget and it's saying that there is no listing selected. What we're going to do is click on browse listings and we can search by the property address, the MLS number or the KWLS ID. So I'm going to search for the MLS number. I'm going to come back to the listing and grab that number here. I simply pop it in and click search. And here we go. We have our listing right here. All I need to do is click select. And then I can choose which image I'd like to be the main image that's displayed right here. So I'm going to go with, you know, the classic image of the outside of the house and I'm gonna click on save and apply. Now, as soon as I do this, the entire listing widget has been transformed. We're able to see that beautiful header image, the basic information of the property, and then all of the other information filters in directly from the MLS. So we know the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the year it was built, the description, all of the images that can be um, viewed through the slideshow here. And then of course, the details and features, the map, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna click on save and apply. What I can do now is click on this back arrow on this uh, upper right corner next to listing. And this will take me to the rest of my widgets. Now it does say that we have a check mark already for the branded header and the lead form. That's because there's really nothing that you absolutely have to change in order to publish this page. Unlike the listing where we need to tell the website, hey, this is the listing we're promoting, use this information but we still can customize this and make it our own. All you need to do is click on the widget and then you'll be able to enter in any information that you want. So when I referenced that header text earlier, we are limited to 30 characters, but we can use our imagination and really make this work. So this address is 64, uh, 64 the terrace. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. And then I'm going to say open house sign in, and that's all I can fit. So open house sign in, that's good enough. If I wanted to swap out my headshot or any of my contact info, I can do that. But so long as your marketing profile is updated with all of your current information, it, that will all filter in automatically. So now I'm going to click save and apply. And now we see that we have a nice header here, and this is telling people exactly what this uh, landing page is going to be about. Now I'm gonna go back to the rest of my widgets here, and now I'm gonna click on lead form. Now with the lead form, there's not too much that you're able to change. Really the only thing that you can do is change the header text here. What is nice about this is that you're not limited to the number of characters. So we can simply delete this and say, please fill out the form below to enter the open house for 64 the terrace and I'm gonna click on save and apply. So now instead of interested, let's talk, we're telling people exactly what they need to do in order to enter our open house. Now all of our widgets have been configured. I'm gonna close out of that. 
And I think this looks pretty good. Now, again, this is just my example. You guys can feel free to create your landing pages however you want. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to take one more look through. So we have our header here. We have clear instructions to fill out the form below to enter our open house. And then we have all of our listing information here. So what I'm going to do now is click on publish page. Yes, this is going to activate the page and make it live. We're brought back into our command dashboard. And now when I go to landing pages, we see that my 64, uh, the Terrace Open House sign-in sheet has been created. But one thing you'll notice that that is that the URL looks a little bit different than the other ones in my um, dashboard. And that is gonna tie into the latter half of the URL. So you'll notice every single one of my landing pages is gonna start exactly the same. They're always gonna be pages.kw.com then it will be the agent's name, and then it's going to have a code, and I think that this dire relates directly back to you as the agent. So up until this backsplash, backslash, you um, can't change the URL, no. but we do have the ability to make those edits to the back half. This is really simple to do. All we need to do is click on these three dots on the left side, the right side, I do not know my left from my right, and click on change URL. You'll see that this is uh, grayed out, so I'm not able to edit it, but I can edit all of this jumble of, of letters and, and numbers at the back end. So I'm going to change this to 64, the Terrace Open House, and click Create. Very simple. It's not completely necessary that you do this. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. This is just in case this link does end up um, maybe in someone's email or in their text message. And that way they're able to see exactly what that link is because they're able to see the description in the URL. And it looks a bit cleaner as well. So now we have our link that has been customized. The status um, means that the page is live. And over time, we're able to see how many leads we collect from this page. Most of mine, I should say all of mine, for example, I'm not a licensed realtor myself, but we are able to see that I did acquire some leads here through examples that I've done. So now what we can do is click on this URL and it's going to open up the page for us. So let me zoom in here, it looks a little tiny. So what we have here is our beautiful custom landing page to be used as an open house sign-in sheet. Hello. We have our uh, header, our instructions, Hello. the form, and then all of our listing information below. So this is step one of our process here, but you'll see this took me all of five, 10 minutes to do. The first few times you do it, you may have a little bit of difficulty, but over time it's gonna become second nature. Now the next step in this is to actually create that QR code. If you're using Google Chrome, you have the ability to create a QR code instantly directly from the web page. We can do this in one of two ways. The first is to simply right click anywhere on the web page and you'll see the option to create a QR code for this page. Similarly, if I click in to the um, URL area on my browser, as soon as I do, we see that same figure pop up towards the right side, and it's that same instruction, create QR code for this page. Either way, when we click create, it's going to show up as part of that URL, and we're then able to see our QR code creation. So we have the website here, as well as the QR code, and all we need to do is click on download. That will then automatically download and save this QR code to our uh, download files. One thing to note when you are creating a QR code through Google Chrome, it will have this cute little dinosaur in the middle of it. That's the Chrome mascot. Um, that is part of being able to use the service for free and so easily is that they are gonna use a little bit of their branding in the middle of the QR code. If you really don't like this cute little dino, I'm sure there are other QR code sites out there available where you can create the code. Um, I don't have any experience with those because I don't mind the dyno. I think this is nice and easy, but if you prefer to have a different type of QR code, a different style created, by all means, do a little bit of research and find a great website where you can find that information. So now what I'm going to do is come back into my command dashboard, and I'm going to create a flyer that we can 
hang on the front door of our open house. That way, before someone walks in the door, they're instructed to uh, scan that QR code and fill out the form. In order to do this, I'm going to go to my designs applet. If you've ever taken one of my classes before, you know that this is one of my favorite areas of the dashboard. There's so much that we can do, and it's really fun to be creative um, with all the easy templates that they have available. In order to begin, we're going to do create design on that upper right corner. And for this instance, we're going to select print and then continue. Once this loads, it's going to show us all of the different templates that are available. Um, for any print materials. So they can be focusing on listings, um, targeting buyers, any of your uh, business stats, some fun designs that are relevant to holidays that we have. And for our example, we're going to come over to the listings area on the left. And once I select that drop down menu, we see all of the different categories underneath that listing. And I'm going to select open house. Now, once this loads, we're going to see a ton, a ton, a ton of different templates that are available. In order to make this a little less overwhelming, you can narrow down the templates based on the size that you are looking for. So in this instance, I want to create a true flyer at eight and a half by 11. So I'm simply going to collect, uh, select that flyers letters option, and then it will narrow down all of the templates to only show um, the designs that will fit this size. From here, it is completely up to you. You can choose whatever design you want. I'm going to go with this one here. And so I'm select use. We need to wait just a second for this to load. And then once we do, we see that that template has loaded. Now, similarly to the landing page, we want to rename our template right off the bat. Why? This is going to help us find our template um, later on as we search through all of our designs in the command dashboard, and it'll just make your life a little bit easier. So again, this is going to be 64 of the Terrace uh, open house sign in sheet. Now comes the fun part where we can customize this to reflect our listing and add in that QR code. The very first thing that we're going to do is go over to the KWLS icon here. This will allow us to search for a listing that we can then apply to our template. So again, I'm going to take that MLS ID from the listing, come back into command. I'm going to search by MLS number, type it in, hit enter. And here we go. I'm going to click on select. Now, once I do this, it's going to bring up all of the listing details. So I'm able to view all of the photos as well as all of the listing details. So this is going to make it super easy to populate our um, open house flyer. First things first, we want to look at the photos. Now, this is a gorgeous picture of a kitchen, but unfortunately, it's not the one in our house. So I am going to take one of those beautiful images of the exterior. I've clicked on the image that I want to replace. And once I do, I can hover over the image that I want to replace it with. And we see this little circular arrow icon uh, pop up. This is able, this is going to give us the ability to replace the image that's currently on our page. All I need to do is click, voila. It's inputted for us. It looks great. Step one is done. Sound like a commercial. I have an agent telling me I sound like a commercial. I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is edit these okay, additional sure. images here. <laughs> um, and this can be up to you guys. Um, what you can do is add a secondary image and your QR code. Um, you can delete one of these images and add your QR code instead. Uh, I'm going to simply add in another image here. So let me look at my uh, images that we have available. I always do like to add in a picture of the kitchen because I think they always look really nice. So I'm going to then replace this image here. And now we have an image of the kitchen. Then what I'm going to do is replace the other image with an image of our QR code. In order to do that, I'm going to come to the Images tab and click on Add. This will allow us to upload an image from our desktop if you want to connect your Google Drive, your Facebook page, anything like that. 
and we can simply drag and drop images here. So I can take this image that I have downloaded and drag it into this drag upload area. And then our QR code is going to populate right here in our uploaded images. So I'm going to take this image and click on replace. And there we go. We have our QR code right here. Now what I'm going to do is come back to my KWLS area here and go to the listing details. And this is going to help us to populate all of the correct information for our open house. Now you'll see each of these text blocks are um, individual um, in chunks. And in order to edit any of these, we're going to have one question. Sure, go ahead. So if we are not putting the proper picture of what the house has, is it OK then? That would be completely up to you. You know, when you are doing your open house, whatever imagery you'd want to use, it's up to you. It doesn't have to be the front of the house. You can you can use another design where you have four different images so people can see the kitchen, the living room, the bathroom, the master bath, um, anything along those lines. The design is completely up to you. So long as you are using images from the house, um, I think you would be good to go with whatever images you, you know, desire. My question is you putting the kitchen, which kitchen is not in the house, same type, right? So this image actually is a picture from my listing. Okay. Or, or from this listing, I should say. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure we don't want to put anything else so what is not in the house, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Exactly. Yes, you do want to keep this factual to um, the you. amenities in your house. Of course, no problem. Um, and again, just to show you all, uh, when I'm in the KWLS area and I'm looking at all the details for my listing, all of these photos here are all photos from the MLS. So these are all images of this specific property. So that's why I, I was able to take this image. Hello? No problem. Um, so that's why we do have the uh, image here because it is part of the, the listing images. Now, what I'm also gonna do is select listing details. And this will help me to replace all of this information with the correct image, uh, Im <laughs> the correct information from our listing. And again, in order to edit any of these text blocks, it's uh, best practice to click on the text that you wanna edit. And then you're gonna click on this typewriter button that's in the upper menu bar here. This goes for anything in the designs element, whether you're working on a flyer, a social media post, whatever the case may be. Whenever you're editing text, highly recommend clicking that typewriter button and then making your changes. I also highly advise that if you are in the middle of something and you have to take a phone call, you have to walk away for a minute, click on save changes first, because if you wait a little while, and then click Save Changes, you may erase what you have done. I've run into that issue once or twice, and it can be a little frustrating. So again, I'm clicking in Typewriter, and now I'm simply going to change the information here. So this open house is going to be on October 17th, and it'll be from, let's say, 11 AM to 2 PM. That's fine. Save Changes. Now, the text here has now um, gone into two lines since it is a little bit longer than the original text inputted. You can choose to either stretch out the text box or make the font smaller. And that's what I'm going to do. So now we still have this lined up with our lines on the side here, and it's still big enough to read. Next thing that we're going to do is change the address. Now, an easy way that you can do this is to actually take the property address from our listing details, and again, use those circular arrows to replace, and there we go. So now our um, uh, address has been replaced, and I can go back into that typewriter option, and if I wanted to change this up, say New Jersey, we can do that, and there we go. And now it's looking a little small, so I'm gonna make the font just a tad bigger. There we go. Then I'm just going to continue to edit this information. Now we see that all of this information is in one text block. So it's not going to make sense for us to replace this with any of the information from our listing details. Instead, what I'm going to do is scroll down to see all of this information. 
and then click on that typewriter and then simply replace the information. So this is a six bed, four bath, the square footage, I don't see it here. So that's okay, we can just simply delete this or we can put two family since this is a two family. The listing price is gonna be 829, and this was built in 1904. I'm just going to remove it because I'm going to save a little bit of space and click on save changes. Now, again, it's a little bit small, so I'm going to make the font just a tad bigger. There we go. Now, um, what I'm going to do is minimize this and zoom in just a little bit. Now, instead of giving information about the home, I'm going to take this area and uh, input directions as to how to um, use this QR code. And what I'm gonna do is save what I'm doing right now and actually open up a new window and go into my command. I have created this before in another class. So to save us a little bit of time, all I'm gonna do is go into that uh, design and take the text, that way I don't have to redo it over and over again. So I'm gonna search for open house. And see, this is the reason why it's important to save those file names. Now I'm seeing all of the documents that I've done that have to do with an open house. Now I see this one here, and I know that this is the one I've used in the past. So I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna open this one up here. You see, I like this design. I've done it before in the past. But here are my instructions on how to sign up for today's open house. This is also an example of how you can remove that secondary image and only focus on the QR code, as opposed to keeping that secondary image there and having the QR code. And now that I'm looking at the two, I actually kind of like that other style better. So what I'm gonna do is delete that other image and just move the QR code over. Then I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to go into the typewriter section for this information here. I'm going to right click. Nope, I'm going to control copy. And then I'm going to come back in here, typewriter, and then control paste and save changes. Now I have all of those instructions loaded in here, ready to go. I'm going to make it wider. I'm going to make the font bigger. And what I'm going to do is come back into the typewriter and just get rid of some of these. Extra spaces. And click on save. And there we go. Now, we see that I have some of these uh, uh, dots coming up. That's because I put in something with some enters already. So I just need to come up here and we see that the bullet points option is automatically selected. I'm just going to deselect it and there we go. I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit, make it look really nice. Voila. So now we have clear cut instructions for how to sign um, up for today's open house. Open your camera on your smartphone and point it at the QR code on the left. Scan the QR code with your camera and go to the web page. Enter your contact information and you will be registered for our open house. One, two, three, simple as that. Now, the last thing I will absolutely be, um, I can send you that uh, YouTube link. Uh, Shelly, I just saw your chat and this will be on our YouTube page as well for all of you to tune into. Um, and I do, I know that I go fast and it is a lot to follow. So I do appreciate you wanting to rewatch this and go at your own pace. Um, again, it's not that difficult, but when you're first learning this, it can be a bit overwhelming. So of course, you or anyone else, whether you're tuning in live or watching this on YouTube, if you ever have any questions, you can certainly reach out to me and I'll let you know my email address at the end. Before we publish this page, um, I'm just going to show you guys how you can customize your contact information here at the bottom. Now, one thing that um, a lot of people will always see is the KWDBA name logo. This is simply a generic logo that we are going to replace with our Market Center's logo. 
Once I clicked on it, we see that the logos automatically opened up and my assets have populated here. So what I'm gonna do is click on my all white logo and replace, easy as that. Same thing here, what I can do is um, simply, do I have that here? Da, da, da. Um, so I do have my information here under text and my assets. So if I want, I can just get rid of these here. What are you doing? See, sometimes this happens. So get in the habit of saving frequently. And I don't know why this is not going away. Let me just give this a quick refresh. There we go. So we still have our Keller Williams Park Views logo here. Now I'm going to go to text. This is a great, um, what I just skipped through is actually a great um, informational piece for you about how to use the designs element. But to continue going with our example, I'm going to come to the text and my assets. That way I can simply just click on the information that I want to replace, click on those arrows. There we go. So I have my name. Now this is a little tricky because all of these, all of this information is in the same spot. So it's up to you, however you want to do this. Here's my email address for anyone that wants to make note of it. It's kwpvdot at gmail.com. Keller Williams, Park Views, Director of Technology at gmail.com. And if I had an app link, I would certainly put it here. Unfortunately, since I'm not a licensed realtor, I don't have an app. So I'm just going to delete that and click on save. Now my information has been saved here. Finally, when I click on my headshot or the headshot, I'll go to images and I'll see that my agent photo is automatically pulled from my marketing profile so I can replace it and voila. Look how easy that was. Again, only about 10 minutes that it took us to take a generic template and completely customize it for our listing to promote this QR code to add all of our information in. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this a step further. If you wanted to change the color, if you wanted to change the shapes, if you wanted to add in other elements, you can absolutely do this. It's up to you. Now, we know that that Keller Williams red is a gorgeous color and everyone loves to use it. But let's say you wanted to switch up your materials and change that color. Whatever element you click on, you'll be able to see the colors pop up in the menu bar. So maybe I want this to be a nice purple color. Same thing with this red image here. I can click on purple, purple. And then maybe for down here too, I want this to be purple as well. Now this is a very bright example. Um, again, I'm not a realtor. It, this is just for an example. So please don't feel like you have to go crazy and make your designs colorful and uh, crazy like mine. But if you ever did want to spice it up, um, you can absolutely do that. You can also change the font, the font sizes of everything here as well, if your heart desires. But now I'd say that our flyer looks pretty good. I'm going to give it one final save. And now what I'm going to do is click on download. And I can save this as a PDF uh, for printing or a standard PDF as a PNG or a JPEG. In this instance, I'll click on PDF standard and then download. Now this will download in just a moment. And let me share with you the flyer. So here we go. This is a lovely view of this flyer. Um, and the best thing about this is that you can all take your smartphones, open up the camera, and go ahead and place that camera towards your QR code, towards the QR code on the screen, I should say. Now, once you do, and I, I know that this doesn't look the best, but once you scan that QR code, you'll get this window that pops up. If you're using a, an iPhone, 
it'll say QR code detected, open pages.kw.com link. I'm going to click on that. And now it's opening up a landing page. Again, I know that this doesn't look good. My webcam's not the best. I apologize. But you can see that I do have my listing, uh, my landing page here. Now it doesn't have my header because on a mobile phone, it's gonna be a little too small. But it does say, please fill out the form below to enter open house for 64 The Terrace. So people can come in here and add in their information. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. I'm gonna make up a person. And today my person is gonna be, um, Janine, give me a person. I don't know what, huh? <laughs> I'm reading like text messages that came through. And I got <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna use, um, Mark Cuban. I don't know why he was the first person that came into my name, into my head, but here we go. So I'm entering Mark Cuban's information. And I'm going to enter in a phone number. And then just leaving a note. And then I click on that I am not a robot and click on send. Telling me I need a valid phone number. Okay. So now I filled out the form and I got that notification that said, Thank you, your information has been submitted. Now I'll show you why I just did that. Let me go back in. So right now I'm in my command dashboard. We have my flyer, so I'm gonna click done. And once I go back to my uh, dashboard here, I see that I now have a notification. Once I click on this, it says new lead form notification, new lead info captured. I can click on this and now it's gonna take me directly into the contact of Mr. Cuban, whose email is now mark at sharktank.com. <laughs> and it says that the lead source was a KW landing page. I have his email address. I used my phone number, which is already in my dashboard, which is why his phone number isn't showing up here. But um, I am able to see where this lead came from. So I know exactly what page this came from. And I decided to leave a note as well. So I can see that there. So how cool is this that you can now have someone sign into your open house uh, touch free and their information will automatically be added into your command dashboard. This is really cool. Furthermore, when we go back to the consumer area and I go to landing pages, I see that I have one lead here. So bravo, right there we already have a lead. So this is also a great way for you to see exactly how many leads have come in from that particular page because the system will keep track of it for you. Once the open house has passed or your house has sold, whatever the case may be, you can always deactivate the page or simply change the status to be um, inactive. And that way, anyone with the link will not have the ability you know, to see it because the listing has is gone. You're, you've sold your listing. Um, so that's really, you know, a general overview of how you can create custom landing pages for a number of different things, whether you want to use a QR code or not. You can use it to promote an open house. You can use it to promote yourself. You can use it to try to get testimonials for you or reviews. Um, if you have a, you know, house of the week that you want to highlight or a house of the month, you can create that landing page as well. And then the designs element, use your imagination. They give you a ton of excellent templates, but if you have an idea for something and you don't see a template, find a similar design and then spend a little while changing that information to make it look like how you wanna make it look. Now, before I ask if there are any additional questions, I just quickly wanna show you guys two quick things. I had mentioned the marketing profile earlier. When you're in command and you click on your name on the upper right corner and go to settings, you'll then have the ability to click on connect settings on the left hand side and then select marketing profile. Now this is where you would come in and make sure you have your most recent headshot updated. If you have a team logo, you can upload it here or any other image that you may like. 
all of your contact information, your bio, the market center information, etc. It says it right here. The point of the marketing profile is to help you create marketing content easier and faster. And we saw that exactly when we were in that design. It pulled our headshot for us. It pulled our name for us. It pulled our email and phone number for us. So this is going to save you time from having to type all of that in over and over and over again. Hugo asked an excellent question. Can you customize the field you want to collect the registration uh, uh, from? Unfortunately, you cannot. So this is one potential negative where you cannot customize the lead form generation field here. Um, now, again, this is my example to you. If you don't see this uh, as the best way to get information for your open house, that's quite all right. You don't have to use this. You can use this in other areas as well. Um, but unfortunately, we are not able to customize what is required here. And um, the system does make it mandatory that someone will have to put in name, email, and phone number. So they will have to enter all four points of information in order to submit the form. That's a very good question. Last but not least, I just want to show you guys our Bergen County Partners YouTube channel. Um, we have a phenomenal YouTube channel that has all of our class recordings, all of our career builder recordings, any great guest speakers that we have, anything at all that we can share with our BCP agents, we have it linked here for you. So this video is going to be here in just a little bit. Uh, Chris Griffith does a great job of maintaining this. When I came on about a year ago, we had under 500 subscribers, and now we're almost at 700. So if you haven't already yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That way, you'll be able to access the Burden County Partners channel very easily from your homepage. And you can view all the videos or playlists to find all the topics that you're looking for. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is um, everything that I had uh, to show you guys how to use the landing page feature, how to create those designs using the QR code and encompassing everything at once. Um, before we wrap up, are there any other questions that I can answer for anyone regarding landing pages, designs, QR codes? And if not, that is a okay. I'll put my email in the chat one more time. And for those of you who may be tuning in later, if you ever have a question about this, you can email me at kwpvdot at gmail.com. And that's uh, for Park Views, excuse me, Keller Williams, Park Views, Director of Technology um, at gmail.com. So please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions that you may have. I encourage you all to explore and um, you know play around with this. Even if you don't have any listings coming up, you know, make something up for fun. Maybe you see something online that you want to promote, or you just want to get used to the system and create your own pages. Go for it. I highly encourage you. Um, the easiest way to learn is by doing. So. Um, never hesitate to do anything in command. It's very, very hard to break the system. Um, and as you can see from my uh, command as well, you can certainly make endless amounts of designs, landing pages, contacts as examples. Um, so again, I thank you all for tuning in. I hope that you found this beneficial and I look forward to seeing you in a future class. Have a great day.